All right, what's going on, guys? My name is Mike, and welcome back to Genshin Impact. So I'm actually up a little bit earlier than I typically am on most days during the summer, and I feel like I am a little low energy, but I feel like once I kind of get going here, uh, I should be feeling fine. I definitely should be, just considering the fact that I woke up to a bunch of uh, interesting little potential leaks, not for Genshin, but rather for Call of Duty, and I know I've been talking and playing about Call of Duty for so long at this point. But I just hope that you guys can understand that it has been a huge part of my life, so I am obviously gonna be wanting to at least keep tabs on it as the years pass, even if I'm not playing it as often as I used to. So I'm not gonna talk too much about it, I'm just gonna say that with the leaks that were being talked about and shown off, the game... Uh, I mean, I guess it's okay. There's a lot more to a game than just how it looks, and I find it funny that history is basically repeating itself. But as of right now, the alleged Modern Warfare 3 releasing later this year pretty much looks exactly the same as the current Modern Warfare 2, which, again, is pretty much exactly what happened back in 2009 and 2011. Modern Warfare 3 back then looked exactly like Modern Warfare 2, just kind of updated, more balanced, and definitely a lot less bombastic and crazy, whereas now we're kind of dealing with the fact that the game right now is just kind of stale and boring, and hopefully a bit of a reset will make things a little more interesting. Definitely some interesting stuff, and supposedly, it's likely, maybe, I would doubt it, honestly, if it does end up being true, but supposedly for the first time in the entire series' history, uh, stuff that you unlocked in the previous title is actually going to carry over to the next one. As much as I would love for that to be true, I kind of don't believe it because that means less money from bundles, and we know bundle warfare is all that Call of Duty has really turned into at this point. Uh, by the way, since I am kind of going through the cryo registrine right now, yesterday I did manage to fully ascend uh, Rosaria. Where is she? There she is. Yep. Level 81, so she's got the 90 cap, as well as Kaya is up to the level 80 cap. So what I'm going to do next is just get a hold of the 20 cryo registrine drops to get him to 90 eventually. Uh, and I'll just hold on to those. I'm not going to get him to 80 now and then break through that barrier now. Because still saving for Kokomi. She needs her XP books. And thankfully, like, my little kind of theory for me, like, helping me kind of get through the time until her banner drops has been helping. Because I seriously, like, woke up today thinking, like, man, she's probably still, like, 10 days away or something. And now it's 8. So, oh my gosh, I'm feeling lightheaded. I feel like I did get good rest, so I don't know why I'm feeling a little bit woozy right now. Maybe it's just because I got up a lot earlier than I usually have. I'm so excited to get Kokomi because I've been talking with a few people, like, just kind of in my spare time about the whole thing. And also just seeing a lot of the smaller content creators for Genshin that just kind of make nice little funny meme videos and different things like that. Starting to highlight Kokomi, which just has me all the more excited, dude. I'm so happy. I'm very curious to try and figure out who my next character that I'm going to pull for will be. It likely will be a Fontaine character. I don't know if I would necessarily count Charlotte because she is going to be a 4-star. At least that's my best assumption. She looks like a 4-star. That's not calling her out necessarily, but I think we all can kind of agree that it's a little unfortunate that, for the most part, it can sometimes just be a lot harder to get a hold of a 4-star rather than the... Man, I am fumbling over my words today. This is not good. I've also been thinking, and I kind of want to start trying my hand at a bit of reaction content. Not like the stereotypical one where I actually kind of go and watch other people's videos, but the stuff relating to the games that I'm playing. So new Genshin trailers, new Genshin character showcases, maybe some of the Call of Duty stuff when that actually starts happening too, but... I don't see myself doing like the actual stereotypical react content where I take other people's videos and react to it. Mostly just because I understand that people actually kind of put in a lot of effort on those videos, especially those who kind of post very infrequently with extreme high quality stuff like people like Max or 
or other individuals like that. Even on the Call of Duty side, there are a few content creators that do things like that. But yeah, I'm kind of in that little sort of itchy sort of scenario with Genshin where I kind of want new things, but it's kind of my own fault. However, that will be remedied in one week, and I'm super excited to get back into the grind of things. Waiting this long just for a character banner is, eh, you know, I understand that some other people may do it either voluntarily or involuntarily just based on if they have the time or if they really want the character on the second banner before they start doing stuff. So I don't think I'm really in a minority for any of that. All right, I got Mika maxed out already, so we're going to swap him out. Let's see. I promise to keep you safe. We'll keep Candace on there. Uh, I have really wanted to use her as a unit, but her Hydro Infusion is kind of just in a weird spot for me. I don't really have any good sort of ideas, so I'll probably have to do a good little bit of research to figure out what exactly I should do with her. Yeah, because now that I, now that I see it, I'm pretty sure she's also a parry character with that sort of whole thing. I am interested to use her, I just need a little bit of time to figure out how she works. You all know the drill. New week, new challenges. Gotta do them. Be right back. Alright, so that's one. Jeez. Barbara was such a tough opponent, I swear. Okay. And that's two. Ah, good job. Good job. Alright, we'll tackle the other two later this week. Oh, I've got something in my inventory. What's going on there? Hello? <gasps> Yay! Who tell? She's got her card proficiency up to max. Thank you. Okay, so now let me see. Who should I throw in there next? Um, have I used Miko at all? I don't think I have. I have not. Miko is next. Full Inazuma team for that. We'll start uh, working on Miko's little thing there. Gotta make sure I get my rewards for all that. I completely forgot that I still need to fight this Regisvine a couple times, so we'll keep going here. I'm really hoping to see uh, Fontaine be a new and interesting place by introducing another new ton of different sort of features and gimmicks. One of my favorite parts about the new regions in Genshin every time I go to a new one because it happened back during uh when i got to inazuma for the first time which was a little bit later than most was all the new types of puzzles that i was kind of forced to learn especially when i got to watatsumi and surumi island those were very difficult at first but i really enjoyed the challenge so i'm hoping to see if fontaine kind of does anything similar Yo, that's sick. I just turned over to Twitter really quick just to kind of see what's going on with uh, whatever I'm kind of following with. And Kokomi's actually trending. Yo! I'm really happy to see that there is a lot of love for Kokomi going around right now. That makes me very happy. <laughs> Especially this one. Watching old Kokomi summon videos and people called her trash. Now she's a must pull. I kind of always told myself that I knew that Kokomi was a good unit. I just never really had a good opportunity to pull for her because I had other characters that I wanted to pull beforehand. And then I had that grave mistake of accidentally pulling the wrong character when she was set up and I was ready for her. So my bad, but give me another week and she'll be mine. <laughs> God, this place is so beautiful. And the piano is so cute as well, just for this entire area. Oh man, I cannot wait. But yeah, with that, I think I'll go ahead and end things off here. I think it'll be a little bit of a shorter video, even though I was recording for a lot longer just because of the whole TCG thing. But uh, things are going swell, things are going good, really enjoying the game, and I'm actually kind of starting to get a lot more excited for Fontaine at this point. I'm really hoping that we get some... Uh, I hope that we start getting some sort of new teases coming up soon. Uh, I know that we are still largely focusing on 3.8, or rather Hoyoverse is, just because we're not even halfway through the patch yet. But, you know, maybe, I don't know, I just understand that the next big thing that we're all looking forward to now is the 4.0 special program, which, oh my gosh, whenever that announcement actually goes through, I'm going to lose it!
I'm so freaking excited. But yeah, with that, we'll go ahead and leave things there. So uh, thank you so very much for watching. If you are new to the channel and you're excited for a lot of the Genshin stuff that is coming up soon over the coming months, be sure to drop a like and uh, let me know in the comments. I do really want to hear what you guys are thinking about all of this with 3.8 and 4.0 and new characters and full lore. There's just so much stuff coming up. Oh, man. I'm so excited, but I'll be back again tomorrow, hopefully, God willing, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you all later. Peace out, everybody.